If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Three top picks, Waves, baby. Who's the best? What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a look at the brand new WWE Elite Top Picks 2020 line that should be hitting retail relatively soon. Like, sooner or later, you're going to walk in your damn Walmart, in your Target, in your fart, in a bag, and you're going to find these figures on the shelves. And I would guarantee that Rollins and Ricochet are probably going to be stuck on the pegs the most. And they're probably the best two figures in the set because you guys know that Braun and Roman are selling out, Brad. They, they freaking move product, all right? You put a Roman Reigns or a Braun Strowman up on the shelf, it's already gone. So here today, guys, I'm excited to get into this set. I've been waiting on it for a while. All of this all kind of came together in the same set, so I had to wait on all of it together. That's why I didn't have this up a week ago or whatever the last time you saw others upload reviews or whatever the case is. But today I'm excited to get into it. Got a brand new Ricochet Elite, Roman, Seth Rollins, and Braun. We're going to crack them all out of the packaging. Take a look at this Top Picks 2020 line, and we're going to compare it to the rest of the Top Picks lines. You know, we had Top Picks 20 2018, Top Picks 2019, and now Top Picks 2020. I'm excited. One thing I will say is it seems like this set did a lot of moving. You guys remember, like, back I think it was, like, months back, maybe even a year ago, uh, on the rumor mill, it, it was gonna have Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, Rey Mysterio, and AJ Styles. Then, you know, we, we fiddle-farted around. We were, we were treading water, treading water, and then out of nowhere, Braun Roman and Ricochet just replaced all three of those guys, and Seth Rollins remains the one true Top Picks 2020. He's the, he's the Top Picks Messiah. He, he can't get rid of him. He's the savior of the top picks line. He's been in all three, and I'm, I'm down with that. Uh, guys, just an editor's note right here. I was editing the video, and I really realized that I said that Seth Rollins was the only one remaining from the top pick set. That's not true, Brad, because Braun Strowman's been in all the sets, too, you dumb, stupid, idiot, jackass moron. But yeah, just wanted to add that in there. Quick little editor's note. I'm a dumb jackass. Braun Strowman has also been in all the top picks waves, but Seth Rollins is still the savior of the set. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at them in the packaging. If you guys are one of those mock collectors, here's what we got going on. Ricochet, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and then Braun Strowman. Bronathan. Like Jonathan, but Bronathan. You get it. But here today, guys, we're going to crack all four of these hoes out of the packaging, take a closer look at them, look at their accessories. Are they better than their other figures? Yada, yada, yada. Let's shut the hell up and crack them out of their packaging. I don't have two of them, so I guess I'm just going to... I'm just, I'm just going to get them and just... Alright guys, so here's the full set out of the packaging. Looking pretty freaking, uh, pretty freaking nice, man. We're going to compare them to the other top talent sets because I am genuinely curious to see, you know, how they vary and, you know, what, the, you know, compare them. Compare them and see what they're like up next to each other. Obviously, it's not all the same characters, but, you know, we can take with that what you will. But for these guys, you know, now I don't want to do four individual reviews because we'll be here all day. I'm going to try to speed things up a little bit for us. But uh, you guys can see here on the right, the top picks 2020 Roman Reigns is the exact same Elite 68 figure. Same exact figure to a T. It's got the vest. It's got the same head sculpt. It's got everything that the Elite 68 figure had. I will say they did change the in-packaging images. Uh, you know, they changed it up a little bit with the in-packaging, you know, mock style. I guess for some mock collectors just to, or, or they tried to do it to simply hide the fact that it's a actual re-release of a Roman Reigns, but you got the blue and white vest. I don't even know if I'm going to bother putting it on at this juncture, but I do have the Elite 68 Roman Roman Reigns right here, so you guys don't have to worry about that. It's the same figure. It is the exact same figure. Accessories, Universal Championship, best color, everything about it, it's the same exact thing from SummerSlam 2018, and I'm sure that, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about that. You guys can let me know down below. I would have loved to seen a Jeff Hardy, a Rey Mysterio, and AJ Styles, a new figure. Would have been great to see, but, you know, I, I understand it. If you guys missed out on Elite 68 Roman Reigns, if, if you guys don't have a Roman Reigns, you should be able to grab this at retail, unless it's sold out, like I said it probably would be because Roman Reigns sells, man. He just does. That's why he got plugged in here. He's one of the faces of the company and that's that right there. As far as Braun Strowman is concerned, I'm trying to knock out probably the two most boring in the set thus far, but right here you guys can see this is pretty much a re-release of the Elite 76 that we just got and the head sculpt is different. They did use a reused head sculpt. This is the Elite 76 here on the right and this one does have the pissed off head sculpt and I did switch out his hands for Lars Sullivan hands and this just looks so much better, guys. Like, look at these 
these baby hands that they give them right there. Shout out to my boy Mike the Wrestling Collector for the baby hands reference, but this is pretty much the exact same figure. They don't even have the belt buckle, just like on the Elite 76. Uh, both belt buckles are not painted on the back. These figures are virtually the same with different head sculpts. The Elite 76 is better, in my opinion, because it does have the pissed off new head sculpt, but it does not come with the accessories that this one comes with, which is Mike holding hands and the choke slamming hands, but I say that even though the Elite 76 did come with those accessories, but this is the cool accessory that this brawn has. It is a cloth. Get these hands. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, vomiting. But you guys can see here, you do get the cloth t-shirt, the get these hands t-shirt, and we're gonna put this on the figure to make sure that it fits the figure nice and well. If you guys are wondering about that, so there you go, you put this on, you wrap it around. It reminds me a lot of that Big Show shirt that we got with the, the Elite 70 Big Show, or Elite 71 Big Show. But there you go, fits the figure well. Looks pretty good. I think that looks good. I think they did a good job getting that shirt in the right size and fitting the figure very nicely. You guys can see that it is the Elite 58 Braun Strowman's head Head sculpt. This is the Elite 58 on the right. Same exact head sculpt. I, I don't think they were using True Effects technology at this moment, and it doesn't even look like they really used it on this figure. I think they did. It just doesn't really look like it, but it's the same head sculpt that we've seen before. Uh, pants are slightly different than the Elite 58. This one does have the belt buckle, different pants designs, and some different boots slightly, but Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns are definitely the uh, boring figures in the set, and here's the Elite 52 up next to the new Top Talents Braun Strowman as well, or this may be the Top Talents. Oh, there is this the Elite 67, or is this Elite 68 Braun Strowman? This is Elite 68 Braun Strowman, you dumb jackass. My Elite 52 Braun Strowman got turned into the big old Jason Braun Strowman that we've seen in the past. But outside of Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns, guys, you do get Seth Rollins and Ricochet. I do want to take a closer look at Ricochet here because this Ricochet is probably the best Ricochet in my personal opinion. I like this attire better than his first Elite in the Elite 69 wave. It is the exact same entrance gear that we got with that figure with the wings on the back that do detach out of the figure if you guys want to care about that or do anything with that. I really don't like this entrance coat. I think it's cool. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't like the rubber accessories. Even though, you know, you can't move the arms a little bit. It's still a little bit stiffy lippy if you get what I'm saying. And now the wing won't pop back in. So now he's going to be Kenny Omega with the one winged angel. But down in the tights, one thing I will say is I don't think these tights really look like the tights he wore. These are more of like a matte silver or light gray. When in reality, I think the tights that he wore in that North American Championship match with Adam Cole. I think that's what this match is from, from NXT TakeOver. I think that that attire was actually more like an iridescent, like it had like shininess all over it. Guess they couldn't really replicate that, but he does not have knee pads. I really do like the colors though, man. The, the flat gray with the silver logos and stuff like that with the one and only. No knee pads on this guy, and they still kept that lower leg problem that makes him too tall. White boots, same head sculpt we've seen before. If you guys missed out on the Elite 69 Ricochet or the Network Spotlight Ricochet, this is probably going to be one that will be the easiest to get. I'm sure this thing will drop in price on Amazon at one point. I'm sure that you could be able to find this at Target or Walmart eventually. So if you guys are, you know, wanting a Ricochet figure, you guys missed out on the Elite 69. I think the Elite 69 actually goes for a pretty good penny. Like, it, it costs a little bit of a money, of a money, you know, one single money. So if you guys missed out on that Ricochet, then this one would probably be the one you want to get. And it's the best one, you know. I don't own the Network Spotlight just yet, but this one's pretty freaking cool. I do want to do a comparison between this one and the Elite 69. Here's the Elite 69. You guys can see this one is definitely better. I just think this attire is so freaking boring, man. The black and gold with the logos. This one's just cleaner. It looks better. These are, uh, this is not the fix-up version. This is the version without the fix-up. I do want to compare it to the fix-up version so you guys can see the height difference. So you guys can see the one on the right is the fix-up version, which is probably more accurate to his height. Ricochet's a pretty small guy, so this one definitely makes him a couple inches taller than he's supposed to be relative to other fix Figures. Obviously, that's not two inches in difference, but if he were compared in, you know, figure scale, it would probably be that way. But yeah, I definitely like this attire much better than the Elite 69. And then finally, for our last Ricochet comparison, we do have the uh, Mac Decals pink attire, which is so beautiful with the Bret Hart boot fix-up. And this one is definitely in the right short range right there with the height, and Braun Strowman's trying to ruin the review. Garbage. But there is your pink attire variant right there compared to the top talents. And then the last thing that I want to do right here is show you guys the extra accessory. So he comes with mic holding hands. He also comes with his entrance 
hands. He comes with the Randy Orton style, and he also comes with the Crotch Chop DX style, you know, where he does his entrance where he kneels down and stuff like that. Uh, that is the third figure in the set. And then finally, we have uh, we have the Monday Night Messiah, right? We got Monday Night Rollins right here. Back when he was Universal Champion, he went to Extreme Rules 2019, where him and Becky Lynch teamed up his, his fiance or maybe his wife now. They may be married. I know they're engaged at least, if they're not already married. But in Extreme Rules 2019, they teamed up to take on Lacey Evans and Trash Corbin. Match and storyline was garbage, except for the ending. The ending of that match was pretty dope. If I find it, I'll plug it right here because I thought that was a cool sequence there at the end. Uh -huh, uh, quick little editor's note again. That was Stomping Grounds that I was thinking of. Stomping Grounds, not Extreme Rules. Idiot. Code is the one who Cor Corbin blamed, blamed for his loss of Super, super Showdown. But, as you guys can see, we have the X-Man attire that he wore, and I think this is the only event he wore this attire at. It's like the X-Men slash Wolverine gear. SR here, great yellow paint. I think the yellow matches perfectly. I think they did a really good job of capturing that. One thing I will say, look at this little squiggly dude right here on the back of the butt. What is, is that accurate? Like, what is that? It's like a little, it's like all the lines are straight, and then when it gets right here to the, to the anal cavity, it does look a little squiggly did right there, and I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. But uh, I think the rest of the figure looks good. Open knee pads, good good kick pads, all of it looking good. This is all similar to what he was wearing back then with his WrestleMania 35 gear and his Avengers gear and his Royal Rumble gear. This is similar to what his kick pads were looking like at all those different events. And then he, of course, does come with his entrance hands where he gets on the turnbuckle. A little black speckle right there. That's upsetting. He also comes with interchangeable fists. He also comes with interchangeable mic holding hands. And then he comes with his entrance vest that does not have have the X logo, and this is something that I wanted to mention. We talked about it earlier when they showed the proto images of this figure, when they showed the promo packaging. We talked about this not having the X, and we were talking about, is it copywritten? Is it trademarked? I'm not sure exactly why they couldn't put the X on there. I know the X-Men is owned by Disney, so maybe they were afraid of Disney cracking down, or maybe they'd have to pay them a fee, but then again, it's just the letter X, so I'm not sure how they're supposed to get away with the Johnny Gargano Iron Man attire, or the Wolverine attire, or, or any of that. I'm not sure how all of that works or what the deal is, but they decided to leave the, the X off of the vest, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm going to figure out a way to get the X on there. Painting it would probably be a pain in the booty hole, so I'm probably not going to be doing that, but uh, there's the back of the vest. It looks good, and one of the comparisons that I wanted to do on top of our Seth Rollins comparisons is I also wanted to compare him to the Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch because they are in matching gear, which I thought was sick. The yellows match, I think they use the exact same yellow they use on both of these figures, so that they match. Even though this doesn't look like Becky, we are going to fix this figure up so that we can get some good surgery going, and I'm going to put the Elite 72 head sculpt on it, or I'll order a basic, because I really like the Elite 72. I'll probably get a basic Becky, put that head sculpt on the Ultimate Edition, but there's another comparison with the two together. If you guys wanted to see that, we got husband and wife, fiance with fiance, holding hands, doody doody do. And then next up, we are going to compare it to some other Seth Rollins figures. Next up, we have the Elite 75 with the wrong head sculpt. It does have the basic 102 head sculpt, which is the best Rollins head sculpt in my opinion and I use mine for fix-ups so that's why this has the top talents figure but you guys can kind of get a deal of what we're going on here with the kick pads and entrance vest and attire compared to Extreme Rules 2019 and Royal Rumble 2019. We also have the other top picks Seth Rollins figure right here. I think this is top picks 2019 Rollins with a different head sculpt and an entrance vest so there you go with that. And then finally we have the Seth Rollins 2018 top picks line in the all black Monday Night Rollins gear. It did not come with this Elite 37 vest but I put it on there just to give it a cool little fix up and there you go with the difference in attire there but finally before we get the hell out of here I do want to uh, do one more thing and I do want to showcase all of the top picks lines all up next to each other so that we can see who is the true one remaining best top pick set and I'll give you guys my own personal opinions on it alright guys so here's every top picks line that we've gotten so far from Mattel I did not put them in order because I'm a stupid idiot dumb moron jackass idiot stupid dumb but on the right you have the top Picks 2018. On the left, you have the Top Picks 2019. And in the middle, you have the Top Picks 2020. And if I'm running it down for realsies, ha, huh, I think they're all pretty damn solid. You know, I have to look at it from a perspective of talking about, you know, uh, these are older. We've seen them. You know, they're old. These are brand new. So can I, you know, justify it? Ha. Huh. On the left, I feel like both of these attires for AJ and Seth and Braun Strowman are pretty boring. So I feel like this set may be the weakest, especially since we didn't even get the vest or this head sculpt 
sculpt. We got uh, the Elite 57 head sculpt on this Seth, and the head scan on the Finn Balor in the back with the 2019 and the silver attire was also terrible. In this middle set, it is a re-release Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman, and in this set, it's another re-release Braun Strowman that we got the same head sculpt here and the Elite 58. I do like the Finn Balor over here and the AJ Styles and the 2018 Rollins. I low-key think that this is how it's ranked. I think this is the best set. This is the second best set. That is the third best set. I think that's how I want to go. I think the 2018 was the best. The 2020 is the second best. And then the 2019 is the third best. You might can put 2020 at the top if you like the Ricochet and the Rollins attire. But I feel like this, this set has three very strong figures and the rest only have two. Or possibly one if we're talking about the 2019 down there. But you can not fix them up and, you know, fix them up and, and you fix them up a little bit. But anyways, guys, that does it for the full-fledged review. If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Had a lot of fun reviewing this set. That makes three days in a row of doing reviews. I love doing the reviews more than anything else, I think. It's just really fun to review new figures and tell you guys about them and let you guys know all the good info going into it. But definitely look out for these figures coming soon to retail. If you guys don't want to wait on the retail, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. They should also be hitting Amazon sooner or later, and they'll probably be pretty cheap to begin with. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name, Toys. Let me know down below what top pick set you like the most. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. We got to get the follower game up on Twitter, so definitely follow me over on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.